When working with Angular Material Components, I always find myself reaching for custom classes to style my application. Now, I really want to use Tailwind CSS because of its quick uh, styling, but there was always this impression uh, among the developer community that adding a Tailwind CSS to an Angular Material project is going to re result in uh, some conflicts in the styles, which is going to result in some visual artifacts or something. Well, turns out that that was a bit exaggerated. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can integrate Tailwind CSS into an Angular Material 18 application. So it will be sort of a comprehensive overview of Angular Material and Tailwind CSS integration. We're going to have some fix for some conflicting styles that I came across. I'm, we're going to see how to add Angular Material colors to Tailwind so that we can use both of them at the same time. And we are also going to see how to change typography and set up fonts so that we can customize that as well. I'm going to use the Angular dashboard this is the final result you can see. It's visually very similar to what it was. The thing that I have added here, especially uh, for this Tailwind integration is the component section here. So these are all Angular material components. Almost all of them have been covered here. And I especially added this so that we can see exactly whether Tailwind CSS integration causes any visual artifacts or not. All right, just as an aside, uh, if you are interested in this Angular material dashboard component, you can get it um, from my shop the link to which you can find in the description below and if you get it right now you are going to get all of the future releases as well included in it all right in the same price okay let's start by adding tailwind css to our angular project and that's pretty simple we have a nice guide on tailwind css to install tailwind css with angular and let's just copy paste these things that we have so we have npm install and the tailwind this let's do each of these quickly let's initialize tailwind like this and then lastly, we want to configure our template path. So we are going to go in our tailwind.config and we are going to just copy this content section here. There's one more step and that is to add our tailwind based styles. Now, where do we copy these? Now, if we go in our styles file here, the main, the main Angular application styles file, you're going to see that we have divided this into three sections. There's a material component section, which sets up the material design styles. Then we have the colors, which imports our 49 system color variables that we added. And then we have some custom, if you want to add some custom uh, styling, we add it in this section, all right? So in order to keep it clean and organized, we are going to add a Tailwind section here as well. So uh, we can add all of the Tailwind related styles there, all right? So in the styles, we're going to add a new file here. We're going to call this Tailwind SCCS, all right? And in this file, we're going to copy, paste. we're going to copy this and we're going to paste this. Okay, so we have pasted these styles for now. And lastly, we need to just import this here. So we're going to import this after the colors and before the tailwind.css and let's save this. So in order to test it out, I've converted all of my components and my widgets and everything in the app as far as I could find into using the tailwind utility class instead of my own custom styling. So if I, for example, go in my widget component here, you're going to see that I have these classes, the tailwind CSS classes as well. And just to test out I have the Tailwind CSS plugin installed here just to test out if it works. So we can just see that, okay, we can see the whole colors that are included with Tailwind here. So that means Tailwind is working fine. We just need to save this and test it out as well so that we can see how it looks. So let's do ngdev. So you can see the styling for our dashboard looks uh, pretty good. So let's go in our components now and let's see if it results in any visual artifacts. So on the most part, you can see that a lot of things are fine. It doesn't look any different than other material components. Everything seems to be fine here. So overall, I've looked into all of the components and the only thing that I could find, which was a bit, you know, it resulted in a visual artifact is this form field where we had this border here. And the second thing is that we had this small misalignment problem in an icon button. All right. Now, so I have investigated a bit and I sort of found two styles that we just need to override. So that could be called a sort of a Tailwind material fix. So let's add those two styles to our tailwind.css file. And let's see if this fixes that problem. The first is the MDC notched outline and notch style. So basically we just set the border style to none. Now this border style is sort of the base class of Tailwind so that it border utilities work. We don't need it for the outline uh, mat form field because it's resulting in that uh, bad uh, sort of visual artifact. So we're going to add this in. And the second thing, we need to make the line height of the MDC icon button normal so that 
it sort of becomes aligned in the middle the icon all right so these are the only two things that i found which were a bit out of order and when once we save this and you're going to go back to your um, dashboard you can see that this is aligned perfectly all of the other things look nice uh, and when we go in our inputs you can see the outline form field looks nice as well and the borders of one the other form fields you can see that everything works really nicely all right and if you want you can also inspect this further and you can see you can get this dashboard or you can test it on your own as well but to me i did not find any other issues in any of the other components and tailwind worked really nicely with all of the other things all right so so this was just adding tailwind and some simple fixes all right so for the colors what we want is that we want to use the material design colors and if you look back to what we did before you can go in the colors file and you can see that we have these 49 system color variables which correspond to the material design specification so we want to make this available to the tailwind config as well so that we can use it how do we do that simply we go to our tailwind.config.js in our theme section we can add it to the colors section and in this color section we can actually copy out all of our material design color roles the difference you can see here is that we have it assigned to the CSS variables instead of hard-coded values. And this is going to ensure that uh, our colors are going to be automatically handled by the dark mode because we already have our dark and light mode switching between using the CSS variables before. So now once we save this, this is not going to make all of these material design colors available to our Tailwind utilities like BG, like border, like text. So if, for example, now you look into the result, you can see that the widgets panel looks nice. And if we go to the widgets panel, you can see that I am using here BG surface container. And if you want to use something else, you can also use something else. It is going to appear in your IntelliSense. So you can see all of the colors that we just added to our Tailwind config. I'm just going to use BG surface container again. All right. So you can use any of the colors now. Okay, so you have these material color variables, but you can also add your own custom colors variable if you want it. So for example, if you want to add an accent color, which is your own color, you can add it to these system color variables and use the same method to add it to Tailwind. So for example, we can add an accent color here. And let's say you can call this as red. And then for the dark mode, you can do an accent color of blue just to test it out and now you can then go to the tailwind.config and you can add the same accent here as well and you can use variable accent here all right and then this accent is also going to be available in any of your components so you can use this for example in your widgets panel again i've added this class to the host so you can see bg primary container and instead of this you can write bg accent and now you're going to see a really horrible looking widgets panel here but you can see that when you go to dark mode it changes to that accent color so pretty horrible but you can see how this works all right okay last we're also going to see how to change our typography or to add our own fonts so how do we do that well i'm going to dispense with the material typography because it's kind of useless for me and i don't really use it that much the first thing we can do is that we would like to remove this matte typography which is automatically added when we add material because we're not going to use the typographic styles of angular material i want to use personally the tailwind css uh, typography and the utility classes to actually style my headings and sections and uh, the paragraph tags so i'm going to remove this from here and then we also want to change the font family of our uh, font in the index.html you can see that we are including this font family of Roboto here so let's say we want to change this to inter because that is a more legible font for me and i like it for readable text and also for my own components so i'm going to switch this to inter here okay so this is the first thing that we need to do the second thing we need to change it both in the body styles and in the material typography spe specification as well we're going to go in our styles again and in our material.scss here and you can see in the body we have our font family specified this is also automatically added by material so let's switch this to enter similarly we're also going to copy this and in our custom theme here we are going to add typography and in this typography we can use the plain family uh, option here and just copy paste this all right so this ensures that all of our 
material components are going to have the same font as well all right otherwise our material components default font is roboto great so let's save this and let's see how this looks and you can now see that our dashboard now has this nice readable font okay and you can see all of our components have also changed all of our widgets here the buttons you can see the buttons so everything has changed to that same font all right okay so our dashboard looks pretty nice now after removing all of our custom styling now there's just one thing one caveat that you need to keep in mind and that is sometimes when you are adding tailwind uh, css classes directly to material components uh, you might find that they're not applied those styles and that is because material components have some default styles applied to them as well all right so in order to circumvent that issue if you find that some of your styles are not being applied what you can do is you can use the exclamation mark or the not operator to actually make those styles as important in tailwind css mm -hmm. so that you get precedence so for example in my case you can see that i have in the widget options panel you can see that i have this close button this matte icon close button now this needed to be absolutely set so that i could position this at the top here and there now ideally you should not change styles of the components but uh, if you want to change the positioning you can actually do this you can actually use this trick because there is a position relative applied to the matte icon button by default uh, you will need to use this to override that style to actually position your matte icon button in the correct place so apart from this it has no issues you can use tailwind css in any in any place that you want if you want to apply the tailwind css classes to the host element of the component you can actually use this class option in the host section here and you can add these classes here as well and doing so is going to result in zero sort of style section of your component and it's really nice to see that you can style everything by just adding these utility classes in your component okay so now you can go ahead and use angular material projects with tailwind css with no fear and if you like this video uh, be sure to like and subscribe and share it with others so that it can reach more people and if you would like to purchase the um, angular dashboard here which is coming along really nicely and i plan to add a lot of features to it in the future and you can get it from my shop the link to which is given in the description below this video and if you get it right now as i said before you can get all of the future releases all, all of the future updates to this as well right so thanks for watching and till next time i'm going to come up with something more interesting for all of you angular folks